Want to help others reconnect with the sounds they love? Our next guest uses innovative solutions to help her clients treat and manage their hearing problems. Let's meet an audiologist. Danielle, it's great to meet you. Great to meet you too. Come on in. Thank you. I'm Danielle Fleur, and I'm an audiologist in North Vancouver. Our main focus is helping people manage their hearing health care. So with that, we'll test hearing loss, we'll fit hearing aids, we'll do custom hearing protection, and help people manage their tinnitus with coping skills. In this clinic, our main goal is helping ease communication difficulty. So we'll make sure people's needs are addressed with a specific hearing aid. So we verify the hearing aid is working, we'll make sure they know how to put it in, take it out, and how to stream phone calls, if that's a requirement, or music into their hearing aids with Bluetooth. Danielle, how do you keep up with the technology? It's really important for us to keep up with tech advancements for best mm. patient care. Mm. So there's always conferences to attend or webinars to watch, just to make sure we're up to date with the most recent research. It's great you have the patients in line first. So in a typical day, I may see a couple new people for a new hearing test. So with them, we'll talk about the hearing challenges, we'll do a full assessment, and there may be a hearing aid recommendation, or maybe just coping skills, depending on the recommendation. So the first thing we do is we test to see which volume we need for you to hear a specific frequency. And that shows us how well the ear is working. Then we'll check to see how well you understand words in a sentence. Then we'll test to see how well you understand sentences when it's noisy. That gives you more of a real world example of how well you can hear. We test your tolerance to make sure you're not too sensitive to noise. And then we check for the etiology uh, and see kind of where that hearing loss is coming from. After that test is done, I'll show them everything we did and make sure they thoroughly understand what their hearing loss is like. So Danielle, this looks like quite the setup. Can you walk me through it? Yeah, of course. So this is how we measure someone's, someone's hearing. So all these X's and O's here are the quietest sound that someone can hear. We have the low pitch sounds on this side, and then the high pitch sounds on this side. Quiet sounds are at the top, and then loud sounds are at the bottom. Hmm. So you read the graph as, you need this much volume to hear this sound in that ear. And you know, someone with normal hearing, where would they usually sit? Yeah, so normal hearing, we would see this line right up in this lightest gray area up there. Fascinating. So I have an undergraduate degree in linguistics and psychology. That being said, audiology does pull from a bunch of different backgrounds. So sciences, neuro side, maybe some engineering as well, if you're more on the audio side. So I always wanted to work in the medical field. During my first year, my undergraduate degree, I saw videos of babies hearing for the first time on Facebook, and I was hooked very quickly. <laughs> it definitely does bring a huge sense of accomplishment, and you do know how much you're changing someone's life, but you do know that every person is gonna have that change. But you just keep feeling happy <laughs> for years and years. There's people here who've been audiologists for 30 years, and they'll still cry over these appointments, so it never really gets old. <laughs> Danielle, thank you so much today. I had such a great time. It was great to meet you. <laughs> Once again, I'm Miriam for Career Trek, reminding you that this career could be yours. <laughs>